Hey watch friends, welcome back to the number one watch channel on the internet. Uh, we're going to be talking about a couple things. One is uh, the the grifters, the grifters out there uh, on YouTube trying to fleece you, trying to separate you from your hard earned money. And uh, today we're in the uh, Submariner Bluesy, back on the uh, steel and gold bracelet. Now of course, this is the real deal. This is the one with the rehaut, the engraved. This is a uh, late, late series, final series. Uh, before they went to that ceramic, horrible, horrible ceramic bezel. Uh, now, you'll notice, of course, you know, we have it properly uh, matching with the uh, bespoke uh, Neapolitan uh, shirt and uh, jacket. Uh, yes, my friends, uh, hand-sewn buttonholes. Uh, vintage uh, cufflinks. Now, very important, why do you need to wear a vintage cufflink with the watch? Uh well, you know what, because, if, by the way, if you notice, the pearl, the pearl, right, the gold, the pearl in there, uh, matches the pearl in here, right? Now, this is a detail a lot of you low lives uh, aren't going to uh, appreciate, but uh, this is what uh, what makes this watch really work. Now, look, this is, you know, the Submariner, I've been saying, this is the watch for real, the scum of the earth, uh, the, the low lives out there, the watch really has no purpose piece of garbage now i hate these clasp bracelets they, they have that jingle jangle uh the new bracelets obviously much much better i mean this is the uh, it's it's a it's a real shame here that rolex took them so long to figure things out but uh, yeah this watch will be going uh on sale very soon very soon beautiful blue there we go give you a little bit of that blue now let's talk about today's today's topic which is which is the grifters the grifters now the grifters out there um, on the internet, they you know we we know who they are. They 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 pretend that they're your friends. They're all about the community. It's all about the watch community, watch people, the watch community. Listen, my friends, they're not your friends. I'm your only friend. Okay, these guys are gypsies. They're thieves. Uh, now let's talk about the original, the OG of the uh, beg stream, uh, the e begging space, and that is of course Archibald Chesterfield the third. Uh, who's been around, I mean, back, oof, this guy must, look, he's definitely the original watch channel, going back to the, uh, what is it, back to the, uh, the, the, I don't know, 2012, I think it was, I, I definitely came across this guy back in the day, and, you know, the original vintage Archie, I think, was much better than um, what we see today, you know, back then, it was, he was, I think, very serious about watches, he actually had a, a full-time job, like a real job, and, yeah, he wasn't grifting people for uh, watch reviews and live streams. Now, the live stream thing is really, uh, this is where the real low lives have come in. This is the scum of the earth. Uh, because, look, any any idiot can do a live stream. Uh, and just, what is what are these live streams anyway? It's a bunch of guys, you know, in a circle jerk. Okay, a bunch of guys, a bunch of overweight, fat guys uh, sitting at home in their dirty underwear. I mean, this is what they do when they're not watching porn. They go in these live streams and they talk about inane topics. Uh, they talk about, you know, watches, 5% of the time, the other percentage is, I don't know, cars or bullshit. You know, like it's a bunch of guys sitting around jerking each other off. Now, uh, Archie invented this uh, and that's be that's become his whole living. Now, uh, we've seen imitators pop up. You got that uh, Ukrainian Huiblet, uh Tim Wright, or whatever his real name is, you know, with the uh, with the uh, 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 that colored hair. Uh, this is another grifter. He's uh, jumped on the live stream bandwagon, you know, after Archie taught him everything he knew. Uh, he stabbed Archie in the back, and now he's uh, he's uh, you know grifting others. Uh, you had uh, who is that? The Pillsbury Doughboy with the Taliban beard, who's working for uh, uh, you know the 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 Muppet Boiler Room. Uh, that guy, I think he he grifted some some guy to send him a, a, a submariner, I believe. I think he had to perform sexual favors. Uh, now I'm talking about the Pillsbury Doughboy with the Taliban beard, who's working at Luxury Bazaar. And uh, who else? Did? Now you got the the worst of the worst is this guy Oisin or Oisin, Oisin O'Malley, the uh, the drunken Irish leprechaun, uh, who basically was a failed uh, musician. Uh, I think he had a band back in the uh, in, in the '90s or something that uh, kind of fizzled out, and he's he was doing computer repair in uh, in uh, New York. I think he was evicted by his landlord for non-payment of rent, and uh, he ended up in uh, Italy. In Italy, uh, he's in uh, Venice. 
uh, you know, in a, in a, in a you know, tiny apartment, uh, you know, doing his live streams. Uh, you know, it, but now this guy is very smooth, very smooth, very charming guy. Uh, and I got to say, he does beautiful videos. It's, uh, you know, beautifully edited. It's, you know, really top production quality. Uh, but uh, look, the guy's a grifter, basically. Uh, now, we know he tried to scam a couple of watch dealers. He actually tried to scam a couple of dealers, including the uh, the rodent or the, uh, the, the gerbil in Ireland. And um, he uh, he's making his money now by doing these live streams because nobody wants to pay for his shitty music, apparently. That's right. Nobody wants to pay for Oisheen's shitty music. Uh, so he's doing live streams where he uh, get, gets drunk for three hours uh, and, uh, you know, takes uh, calls and uh, or actually a live chat. So what, what, what are they called? Uh, those chats? Super chat, I think it is. You know, he's like a grifter, a, a, a beggar on the street playing his little uh, guitar and people are tossing, uh, you know, uh, nickels at him. Uh, dance monkey, that's what he is. He's a little dance monkey. Uh, and uh, now you got the other grifters. You got uh, Prune Face. Prune Face out of the UK, you know, the the old man with the, uh, you know, with the, uh, uh, the, the, the leotard uh, jeans and the high top sneakers. That's right, the Prune Face. Uh, Prune Face is another grifter. Uh, he had a couple of watch stores. He claims he got robbed of his uh, AP. He talks about watch robbery all the time. Now, I got to tell you an old uh, old Russian joke, and it goes like this. You know, well, it's not a joke, but it's the truth. Now, you know, in in, in a little town, there was uh, one um, one guy who always knew when the horses would be stolen. Now, again, this joke goes back to the day when people had horses, right? Every, he always knew when the horses would be stolen, what night they would be stolen. You know why? Because he was the thief. <laughs> that's how this, that's how, let me tell you something, my friends. That is how I believe Pruneface, now I'm not make, mentioning any names, but I believe Pruneface uh, knows a little bit more than he uh, uh, lets on about these uh, robberies in London, these, uh, this alleged watch crime. Now we do know that uh, his son, uh, went to prison, or, or, I don't know if he was arrested, or he went to prison for selling fake Rolexes. That's right. He was scamming people. His son is a grifter. That's right. Pruneface's son is a grifter. Now, look, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? Look, just look at uh, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden. Look, we know that's corruption. Pruneface, son of Pruneface, these guys are grifters, okay? Don't trust these guys. They're all out to scam you. They're not here to be your friends. They're here to pick your pockets, okay? So watch out. Don't get fleas. Don't be a lollipop sucker. Don't be a window licker or a crayon eater, right? And by the way, I, I understand there's a uh, Puerto Rican hubcap thief in Miami who uh, has been using my my uh, some of my lines, like uh, about lollipop suckers, uh, uh, unbelievable but true. I mean, it's unbelievable but true, but this guy, I think his name is Juan. Now, Juan... Uh, I, you know, I, I know a little bit about Juan. Juan actually was told by Tony Montana uh, to tell the immigration that he he worked in sanitation. And he told him he's in a sanitarium. He was in a sanitarium. So they had to keep him, they had to keep him locked up for a little while, uh, you know, before they let him out into the uh, into the public. But, uh, yeah, so uh, don't don't believe these uh, these grifters and these scammers. I, I bet Juan and his... And his and this is now, listen, my nephew Kino told me that Juan is going to be trying to do a, uh, uh, some sort of uh, membership and only fans uh, or uh, some sort of other grift to uh, fleece your pockets. Uh, watch out. Don't be a window, don't be a window licker. Uh, now, look, guys, uh, let's bring, let's, 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 now that we're at the, uh, uh, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of grift, let's talk about Anthony, Anthony. And uh, the uh, you know Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee in Texas, uh, the, uh, the oh you know the the uh, loose L U S. Uh, now now let's this is amazing, unbelievable but true. You got this guy Anthony who you know I told you guys he was a grifter back a couple of years going back. Way it was so obvious. I mean you could tell right away. Uh, you know with the beady eyes, the beady eyes never lie. When you see somebody with those beady eyes, uh, that is a sign of a grifter. Um, First time I laid eyes on him, I knew he was no good. And of course, with that, uh, you know, the blackout marketing stunt, that was obviously the, the real nail in the coffin. But uh, it's amazing. But you got the Bruce Lee in Texas, 
uh, who's uh, made a whole living. That's right, this guy makes his living of doing videos about Anthony every day. This guy has five inter five uh, videos about Anthony each day. Unbelievable but true. Bruce Lee in Texas, um, he apparently claims to be a lawyer, a disbarred lawyer. He says he's barred or disbarred. I, I, I don't know, he talks about baseball cards, he's... Uh, making videos about Anthony, his whole living. He makes from, uh, from uh, you know, piggybacking on the grifter. That's, this is the whole ecosystem, my friends. This is the ecosystem of the scum in the watch community. So let, let this be a lesson to you. Nobody is your friend. I, I, the only, you, know, you, you know who your only friend is me. That's right. So make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to be putting out my uh, PayPal so you can send the uh, donations uh, make sure you, uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to get the, uh, up to at least a thousand subscribers so I can start, you know, grifting like the pros, uh, I need to start grifting like the pros, uh, and, uh, yeah, unbelievable, which, by the way, guys, what do you think, was this better on this, the, uh, steel gold or the, um, the white, the white rubber B, I actually think the white rubber B, I, you know, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to trade this in. There's a couple of watches, you know, like I think I got a couple, I got I to gotta thin down the collection. This is going to go, and also the uh, day date, the day date with the uh, bark, the day date on the yellow gold bark bracelet, that is going to go. These two, and I think maybe the two-tone turnograph, I think those two watches are going to be traded in for something, something, I'm not sure what yet. Um, the You know, the only, you know, yeah, I got a little bit, the, the the Rolex inventory is a little too heavy right now. Uh, the only Rolex I, I am interested in is either the green, the uh, day date on the strap, the green the green dial from I think 2014, I think that came out, or the, the, the day date meteorite with the baguette uh, diamonds. Those are the only two Rolexes I'm interested in right now. So I'm, I'm going to have to trade in a couple of these uh, for that maybe kicking a couple of dollars, uh, but uh, yeah, back to the bluesy, just a final couple of comments, um, again, guys, don't be a lollipop sucker or window licker, plenty of these watches around, don't pay more than 10 grand for this, if you're going to be buying one used, slider condition, this obviously is not slider condition, but it can be, we can polish it up, make it look like a, you know, brand new watch, right, comes with a box and everything, well, actually, no, no papers, just a box, um, but yeah, I think about ten grand. do not buy the stupid ones with the ceramic that's pure garbage. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, the bracelet is good because you don't want this clasp. This is garbage. This is, this is a disgrace. This is a disgrace that Rolex could be making bracelets like this in, uh, uh, I don't know, 20, 2009? When was it? When this watch? This 2010? I don't know how old this watch is. Uh, yeah, it's a disgrace. Uh, but the, the ceramic, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not, not a, not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the, the, the Submariner. I mean, again, look, if you want to watch with a timing function, get the Yacht Master, okay? You're not Jacques Cousteau. You're not James Bond. You're a fucking guy sitting at your desk doing spreadsheets or, you know, you're, uh, uh, you know, some uh, uh, contractor doing painting or plumbing or, uh, you know, some guy, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is... Uh, this is a watch for, for, for wankers. This is the wanker watch, okay? Why did I get this watch? It was a mistake, okay? This is a mistake you make. Yeah, I already had the Yacht Master. I, I, I always kind of thought about this watch, but, you know, again, I never I never liked these old clasps. And But you know what? What happened was I kind of thought, when did I get this? 2020, I believe? Right before things went crazy. And, you know, it was already up a little bit. I think I paid 9500 um, but, you know, I, I kind of thought, you know what, the, with the Rehaw, you know, you got the Submariner, you know, look, I, I, I justified it with the idea, okay, it's an investment. <laughs> it's not an investment, guys. These things are, these things are not investments. Uh, although, yeah, it's probably going to pick up a little bit. I do think, though, that these watches, because of the, because of the window lookers out there, I think it's pretty much a safe bet. It's going to, you know, compound at 5% a year or so, you know, the usual Rolex compounding. Um, you know, so it's kind of better than money in the bank in, in a way, in a way, if you could buy it right and sell it right. So again, you got to get both of those things right to make money because, you know, you're going to get clipped every time unless, look, unless you're, you know, you want to be a, a, a wannabe watch dealer, but you know, I don't want to deal with, 
I mean, I don't want to deal with eBay people, low life scum. I, I'll just you know do a trade in or go to a you know sell to a, a dealer. I don't want to deal with 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 crayon eaters like you guys. I mean, my time is valuable. I mean, shit, I shouldn't even be making these these videos. It's a waste of my time. I mean, like uh, you know, come on. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your nasty comments below. So again, watch out for the um, for all the grifters out there with the beg streams trying to trying to trying to get money out of you the the the, the these gypsies uh the uh, the oishins the prune faces uh the the tims the uh the archibald chesterfield the thirds anthony uh pillsbury doughboy and, and, and there's i mean man there's a whole army of these guys it's like it's like a marvel universe almost unbelievable but true